Lot's wife. Could it be that the story of Sodom and Gomorrah is really a description of a nuclear explosion, similar to the one described in the Hindu's Mahabharata? Do the stories of the Mahabharata and the Bible represent actual historical events? For ancient astronaut theorists, the answer is a resounding yes. And they believe the so-called angels who brought forth the devastation were in fact beings from another planet. Alien visitors armed with advanced weaponry. September 2000, the Black Sea, Turkey. Marine archeologist Robert Ballard and his team of underwater scientists discover what appears to be a farmhouse some 330 feet below the surface. Estimates suggest the submerged dwelling to be approximately 7,500 years old. Ballard and other scholars speculated that rising ocean levels could have caused the Mediterranean Sea to burst through a natural dam, creating a flood so great it drowned an estimated 58,000 square miles under 500 feet of water. But more than finding the ruins of an ancient dwelling, had Ballard actually discovered proof that the biblical story of Noah and the Great Flood was true? And those villages, of course, weren't built underwater. So Ballard concluded that the Black Sea, as we know it, was only created some eight, 9,000 years ago. And that is exactly what we're talking about with Noah's Ark and the Flood the same area where all that happened. And in fact, mainstream archeologists know that in the Mediterranean, there are over 200 known sunken cities. Those cities too were somehow flooded the same time that the Black Sea was flooded. Also written in the book of Genesis, the story of Noah tells how God saw that the wickedness of man was great and decided to destroy all of creation. Only Noah, his family, and the animals aboard the ark were allowed to survive and repopulate the planet. But is this the whole story? Was Noah selected only for his virtue? Or was there another reason he was chosen to save the planet? Ancient astronaut theorists believe the Bible doesn't tell the whole story. In the late 1940s and early 1950s, a series of ancient texts known as the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in a cave located in what is now Israel's West Bank. Among the ancient writings are various stories not found in the traditional Hebrew Bible. One such story tells of Noah and his strange, miraculous birth. One of the Dead Sea Scrolls is called the Lamech Scroll. What is Lamech? Lamech was a shepherd. And one day Lamech, his woman, was pregnant. And he said to her, this is impossible. I was not here for months. But his woman with the name Batenosh swears, no one touched me. But Lamech doesn't believe his wife Batenosh and he goes to his father, which was Methuselah. And Methuselah says to Lamech, I can't help you, I don't understand this. I believe your women, Batenosh, that nobody touched her, and I believe you. So what shall I do? So Methuselah goes to his father, the grandfather now of Lamech, his name is Enoch. Now Enoch tells to Methuselah that the guardians of the sky have made an artificial insemination into the womb of Batenosh, the wife and he should accept this child because this child would be the father of a new human generation. And in the Bible, this is Noah. What if, as ancient astronaut theorists believe, the story of Lamech is true and the guardians of the sky described in the story are in fact aliens? Does this mean that Noah was the product of an artificial insemination a genetic experiment performed by extraterrestrials? If so, what was the reason for the Great Flood?